Welcome back folks. We're going to be using uh, the bone tool today to make some animations. Uh, you can see here that I have one layer and an armature and you can see that um, it's animated this way. Um, that's a simple way of doing it. Uh, then there's a little bit more complex way here that is you can see uh, movement is pretty smooth and the reason being is because we use the bone tool and the bone tool once you get the hang of it it is a very handy tool especially when you're making some cool animations uh... we want to open up a new action script 3.0 file uh... default settings and then we'll go ahead and click OK here and I'm going to drag this down so we can see the screen a little bit better. Um, and then we'll just be working on our layer one. I'm going to show you the easy way to do it, and then I'm going to show you the hard, well, not hard way to do it, but um, a little bit more complex way of doing it. And hopefully you guys catch on so you can make some cool animations. So uh, I'm going to use the brush tool here. And uh, you can modify the settings down here, the shape and the uh brush size um, or you could use the bracket buttons that are on your keyboard they underneath the plus button uh, the bigger bracket will make it bigger the smaller bracket will make it smaller so um, if you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that your object drawing button is off it'll look like that whenever it's on it'll look like that whenever it's off. Make sure it is off. I know we've been back and forth uh, use, having it on or having it off. It won't work properly. The bone tool won't, won't work properly if you have it on. So let's make sure it's off here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the body. So I'm going to drag down here and actually I'm going to control Z that. I don't want to use blue. I already made a blue one. I'm going to make uh, let's do kind of a darker green one so I'm gonna do the body here and then let's bring the leg out and make a little kneecap well knee there and then a foot and then we'll do the same thing over here and then we'll go up the arms are gonna come out here and I'm just gonna make an elbow there and I'm going to bring it out this way and then up and then I'm going to make his head so there we go there's our stick guy now uh, the next thing we need to do is select the whole um, er everything that we actually just created here so let's go ahead and pick on our selection tool and I'm going to click and drag a box around our guy and you can see you'll know it's selected because you'll see these little dots through um, our brush strokes once you have that done we can go ahead and select on the bone tool and then uh, you're gonna wanna work from the inside out um, and I'm, we're gonna start right here uh, where our, our guys shoulders are so I'm gonna click and drag out this way and then I'm going to click and drag up. And then I'm going to go back to where we just started from. And then click and drag this way. And then up here. And then I'm going to start back where the middle is again. And then bring it down to the hips. And then out to this knee. Then down to the ankle and then out to the toes and then let's go back up to where the hips are and then we'll start dragging some bones out for this other leg here and then let's go back up to where the original point was and then we'll give it a neck and then we will give it a head bone okay now 
you can see here it took everything from our layer one and attached it to this armature layer. An armature layer is basically a series of bones and uh, that is very common within um, all the animation platforms uh, once we get into some 3D animation uh, armatures are very important so uh, this is just kinda like a little intro on uh, working with armatures now before continuing with uh, this armature it's a good rule of thumb uh, is to check with this bind tool um, and you're going to see why. So if you go ahead and click on the bind tool, which is hidden underneath the bone tool, and um, let's check. I'm just going to click on the different bones here, and let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And as I click these bones, you're going to see the different points that are associated with each bone. Okay, I found one. See on this. Uh, it would be the stick man's left uh, arm bone, the first part of the arm bone that connects to the shoulder. You can see that this point here is associated with this bone. We don't want that to happen because whenever we bring this arm down, it's going to drag this point with it. So uh, simply, you just hold in control and then click that point and it disassociates that point with this bone. So um, now that we have that corrected, and I'm just going to go down through here and just double check everything else. All the other points are just around um, the correct bones and it looks like they are. So let's go ahead. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Now we're ready to animate. So let's go ahead and click on the selection tool. And I'm going to take uh, our armature out to 15 right clicking insert a pose and now uh, what I can do now we just have this position throughout we're gonna have it go from this position and then in keyframe 15 here we're going to modify the position here by just clicking and dragging down. And this is with the move tool or the selection tool. Then I'm going to grab the heel, bring this down, grab this heel, bring this down. And now, once I click off, you can see here that we now have an animation. You can see here that there's overlap happening. That's why uh, I showed you the two different ways. You can see in this one that I did earlier we are still having that overlap especially right at that point the overlap uh, but at this one that's layered out for each uh, part of the body on a new layer you can see there is no overlap happening. It's a nice, nice smooth progression so, uh, but for right now, don't worry about the overlap because we'll be fixing that here shortly. And let's go out to 30. Let's insert another pose. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this out again. Let's drag this one out another time. Let's bring the arm back up here. Let's bring this arm back up. And then we can drag the head a little bit. So now we have from here to here. And then let's just do a couple more poses. Well, we can. Drag them around and just mess around with it. Just get a feel for how the actual armatures or the bones actually uh, affect our actual um, drawing here. Let's 
Now that I drag the time indicator through, this is what we're what we have. So now um, what I'm gonna do is just press control enter on the keyboard and you can see it's gonna actually export our little animation here. So that's our first animation. Let's go ahead and we're going to open up a new 3.0 action script document. Now let's go ahead and look back at this other one I did. And we're going to have left leg, left arm, body, right leg, right arm, and head all on uh, their own layer. And then each layer is going to get its own armature, as you can see here. There's the right, uh, the left leg armature, the left arm armature, and so on and so forth. So uh, we're going to create our stick man that way. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to start with the body. So let's rename that layer to body. And uh, I'm going to pick the paintbrush tool. And then I'm going to just draw one line on the body layer. Now let's make a new layer. This is going to be left leg. And this layer is going to be underneath the body layer. And I'm going to drag it out. this way and then I am going to do the left arm and um, that's going to be out this way and then uh, we'll, we'll click on the body layer here and then click on the new layer and then it'll make a layer above the body layer and then this is going to be right leg and I'm going to then draw out the right leg but I'm going to go back this way and then this way just to kind of make it look like uh, our stick guy is in a running position and then let me go add a new layer this will be left leg or whoops that's not going to be left leg that's going to be right arm what was I thinking okay so now I'm going to take this one out this way and then I'm actually going to bring it down so that looks like he's going to be running in this position over here. And then we're going to do a new layer. Layer 6, which is going to be the head layer. And let's go ahead and make a head. Big head. Big green head. Alright, uh, now what we need to do is put the bones on... Um, the layers here and we're just going to do a bone for the legs and or a bone for each an ar more or less an armature it would be three bones for each leg and then an armature for each arm so let me I'm going to drag this up a little bit so we can see our layers so let's go ahead and I'm going to hide everything except our left leg so just click and drag down to hide everything and now I'm going to click on the bone tool and then I'm going to click whoops make sure your left leg layer is selected and I'm going to click from the top of that leg down to the knee and then bring it down the shin and then do the foot okay and you can see there it took everything from that left leg layer put it into an armature 
Now uh, let's go up to, um, I'm going to hide the left leg, left armature, um, and then let's turn on the right leg. And let's click on that uh, layer, it will select it. Now uh, make sure the bone tool is selected, then I'm going to start from the top here, bring down, bring over and then bring down for the foot okay now that that one's done I'm gonna hide those two layers and now we're going to start with the right arm so make sure that right arm layer is selected and then we're gonna drag an armature out to here and then out to here and uh, now let's hide that and I then need to do the left arm. So I'm going to show the left arm here. And the reason we're hiding these is um, if you don't hide them, you may have difficulty actually applying the bones to the correct objects here. Um, so that's why we're hiding everything. So now that should be everything that we're actually going to animate in this one. So I'm just going to turn everything back on. So now uh, what we can do is I'm going to go out to 15 and I'm just going to click and drag down and then right click and go to insert keyframe for everything here. And I missed one. I missed the head. So let's go ahead and insert a keyframe for that too. And um, what I'm going to do, uh, armature 6, is this arm. Uh, by 15, we're going to want the arm to be over on the other side here. So what I'm going to do is make sure the move tool is selected. I'm going to go through here and click and drag this arm through. And then I'm going to go back and pick this other arm. Then I'm going to drag this arm back. And then before we do anything, you can see what it actually does. Nice, smooth progression here. Now go ahead and just click on the one leg here. We're going to grab the heel, bring this one back, and make sure it's not right over top of the other leg or you're going to have a hard time selecting it. Now I'm going to select that other leg, and then I'm going to bring it forward like this. And you can see now that we have a nice, smooth progression um, using the bone tool. And uh, don't worry if you're a little off the page for right now. This is more or less practice. Um, so then let's go ahead, ahead down to 30. I'm going to click and drag down, right click, and insert keyframe. And then let's go ahead and let's just animate it back. And I assure you, once you get the handle of this, you are going to like it because it makes animating things much, much easier. And here we have our stick man running back and forth. And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, press Control Enter, and what it's going to do is export our Flash video or our Shockwave file, and then there it is. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial here. And um, if you look on Canvas, I'll have uh, some requirements on what I want you to do with uh, then the bone tool for your actual assignment. So this was just kind of a um, get your feet wet um, kind of tutorial with the bone tool. So hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next time.